Hello and welcome to our session Rhapsody in 5 minutes where we want to give you a jump start into the Rhapsody features. Today we talk about four popular ways how you can create objects and initialize their relationships. So there are four ways how we can create objects and uh, initialize the relationship between them. The first one is on component level where we can create initial instances uh, the next one is create global instances and draw a link between them, between them objects. The other one is a kind of whole part relationship where we create an initi initial instance of the whole, which is then responsible to create the instances of the part and initialize the relationship. And the fourth way is to create a builder that is then responsible to create its initial instances. So let's take on the first approach. In this example we have two classes, man and woman, and uh, Rhapsody allows me on component level in the configuration to uh, create initial instances of these two classes by just clicking uh, the box here. And uh, this will modify the main file. So let's take a look on the main file. So here we see that Rhapsody is generating uh, an object of a man and an object of a woman. Because I would like to see the objects in Rhapsody, I switch on animation, which gives me feedback of the runtime objects in Rhapsody. And let's compile this one. Let's run it and we see that we have an instance of a man and we have an instance of a woman and there is no relationship between them. This is something we're going to change. So I draw an association between them. And this um, association um, is translated in the source code as a pointer. So we see in the source code of the man that we have uh, a pointer its woman, which is a pointer to a woman and this is basically the role name. And on the side of the woman we will see that we have a relationship it's man which is a pointer to a man. So let's compile this again. Let's run it. And we see we have an object of a man, we have the relationship it's woman but the pointer is empty, we have a null pointer. So the man does know nothing about the woman. And uh, we, in this approach, we are responsible to initialize the relationship, to initialize the pointer. How can we do this? So let's take a look on the source code again. And here in the source code of the man, for example, this one, set its woman. So this is a mutator which allows me to initialize the relationship its woman by passing the pointer of the woman. And this is something we can do in the configuration. So here we have some initialization code that we can write. Or we can do it here in the main file as well. It's, it's exactly the same. So here we have to initialize our relationship. So we take pman set its woman. Now we have to pass the pointer of the woman, it's p woman. Let's save it. Let's compile it. run it and we see that the man has a relationship its woman and it's pointing to the woman congratulation so let's see if the woman knows also something about the man let's check this and we see as well that the woman has a relationship its man and he knows the man and the reason for this is is because I have a bidirectional association and uh, the set its operation is cross-referencing. 
meaning I pass the point of the woman, I go to the woman and say here's my address, you can call me as well. So this was the first approach. The next approach is using objects. So I create um, a copy of these. Uh, this is just a copy by view. And now I say make an object. And I can give the object a name, for example, for the man. I will say this is Adam. And for the woman, I will say Eve. So in this way, in this approach, Rhapsody is generating the code for me to create the instances of Adam and Eve. And I don't have to create the initial instances here because this is now done by, by Rhapsody. And also I do not require this one because here I have described everything to create two objects. And if I want that Adam and Eve know each other during runtime, then I have to create an instance of this relationship, and this is called a link. So now let's compile this one. Run it and we see that we have an instance of Adam, Eve, let's click on Adam. Adam has a relationship, it's woman, and he knows Eve. And the other way around, Eve has a relationship, it's man, and he knows, she knows Adam. So this was the second approach by creating global instances. This is a nice way, it's pretty fast to create initial objects, to initialize the relationship between them. But here we have global objects and this is something that we do not really much prefer because everyone can now access Eve and uh, call functions at Eve saying, hey Eve, eat this apple. So another approach would be, and here I jump to the fourth solution that I use an additional class to create the instances. This is called a builder. And here we create, we draw or we use the composite class. And we draw it around Adam and Eve. And we call it the paradise. So what you see now is that Adam and Eve are encapsulated inside of the paradise. And this is a nice structured view, a hierarchical view. So we can uh, switch between the views by selecting specification structured view. So this is the specification view and this is the structured view where we can say take a look inside of the paradise. So if you want to have instances of Adam and Eve, we have to create an initial instance of the paradise. We can right click on the paradise and make it an object. Or we click on the configuration level and we say we would like to have an instance of the paradise. And this will modify the main file. We will have a new paradise. The paradise is created and will then be responsible to create Adam and Eve and is responsible to initialize the relationship between them. And this would be the fourth solution. What I skipped a bit was the third solution because in this example it doesn't really make sense. But just to complete, let's remove this one. And let's remove this one. And let's use the composition. The composition is a whole part relationship, meaning this is the whole 
and this is a part. The whole is constructed by parts. So when I select now in Rhapsody to have an initial instance of the man, then the man, because it's a whole part relationship, will create the woman and will initialize the relationship between them. And it's a lifetime relationship, meaning when the object of the man is destroyed, the object of the woman is destroyed at the same time. Thank you very much. If you're interested in a specific topic, don't hesitate to send me an email to info at devotion.com. So thanks to Daniel for this topic or send newsletter to the same email address to receive our newsletter and get informed about our training dates and so forth. You're also invited to check under evotion.com events our latest uh, training schedule. We periodically run C, C++ trainings in Rhapsody. We also run IBM Bluemix trainings and how you can build IoT devices with Rhapsody for uh, IBM Bluemix. If you are interested in a specific topic or an on-site training, uh, for example, Rhapsody in Java, Rhapsody in ADA, uh, Rhapsody Test Conductor, System L, System Engineering Training, or whatever, don't hesitate to get in touch with us. Thanks a lot, and bye-bye.